so let's take up another scenario which is a project uh, uh, fixed price with the revenue recognition so when we are uh, running a fixed price project which is of long term so since the price is fixed the payment terms may be milestone based let's say there is a there is one milestone which may be advance or the start of the project and we get let's say 20% of the value of the fixed price uh, revenue then milestone 2 may be uh, let's say some kind of uh, completion of some stage and another 20% or 30% of the revenue so payments are um, uh, milestone based we have to raise the invoices to the customer against a project of type fixed price against the completion of the uh, milestone but during the progress of the project from day 1 uh, different cost transactions will be incurred on the project such as people will be resources will be booking their hours which are costed on the project material will be consumed which is again costed on the project so different costs are getting accumulated and booked on the project so let's see how um, uh, but invoicing or the revenue um, uh, will take place uh, when a milestone is completed and that may be few months away so each month the profit and loss statement how we recognize revenue this is this we will see in this example so a fixed price project with the revenue recognition uh, let's say in this example we will take the revenue recognition based on percentage complete so for example let's say the cost budgeted is uh, um, uh, uh, 120k uh, which is part of my forecast model and revenue uh, since it's a fixed kind of price project so it's um, uh, 2 lakhs in this example and this we will uh, record on the on account transactions screen so let's say the project is for 6 months and we start booking the cost transactions on the project from day 1 the fixed price project the customer invoicing is based on agreed milestones and the first invoice to the customer may be booked after some time even few months during this time the profit and loss statement will have only the cost and no revenue and hence will show loss in our books even this depends on how we want to record the cost before we have uh, not recognized the revenue most uh, of the times uh, it is booked in the balance sheet accounts so we will run the estimate feature to calculate and post or to accrue or recognize the revenue so for example if we see the project is for 6 months july august september october november december and each month let's say some cost is getting booked so the project is getting debited by in the first month 12000 30000 next month september month 24000 cost is getting booked october 36000 so on and so forth Uh, and finally the total cost of the project is 120000 uh next is if we see the based on the uh, terms uh, payment terms of the project let's say uh, on account invoicing in the month of july is 80000 so this is one milestone which may be a advance or maybe at the start of the project we are booking we have agreed with the customer to record 80000 rupees so we are raising a on account invoicing and receiving the payment against it in the august month there is no on account invoicing september again 50000 october nothing so this all depends on the payment terms which are basically the project milestones so this is how our statement looks before we do the revenue recognition or so the revenue recognition process is uh, driven by the estimate calculation and posting so there is a feature in uh, dynamics uh, finance and operations for fixed price projects which is basically the estimate engine we have to do the calculate estimate and post it so let's say the estimate when we calculate so in the july month estimate it has calculated 20000 as sales value or the accrued revenue this is correct because in the july month 12000 has been booked against budgeted 120000 so that is 10% completion if we are taking percentage completion method so 10% of 2 lakh revenue is 20000 so this is how 
सो आफ्टर एस्टिमेट पोस्टिंग दिस इज हाउ अवर स्टेटमेंट लुक्स लाइक सो रेवेन्यू इन दी मंथ ऑफ जुलाई इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड कॉस्ट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सो ग्रॉस मार्जिन इज एट थाउजेंड सिमिलरली फॉर दी मंथ ऑफ अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर सो दिस इज हाउ इट गोज सो लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल एंड सी हाउ द सिस्टम बिहेव सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ प्रोजेक्ट विच इज प्रोजेक्ट वन एटी फाइव सो इट इज ऑफ टाइप फिक्स प्राइस एंड there is a project group attached to this project which is one of the key setups so let's take so this project group the revenue recognition is completed percentage so there are different options so i have for this example selected percentage completion method and also the cost template because now the revenue recognition will happen based on the percentage completion and the percentage completion is based on the the cost template which you have selected so the cost template the completion percentage completion is based on cost amount and we have included all three types of transactions expense hour and item in this percentage of completion cost template another is in for this project i have already punched a forecast i have taken this very simple so there is only one hour forecast i have punched for 1000 hours at the rate of 190 so 190000 is my cost total cost amount and also there is a since it's a fixed price project so the total price of the project is 3 lakhs and it's divided into two milestones first milestone is of 1 1 lakh and second milestone is 2 lakhs this project is already released so let's quickly see so what i will do is i will go ahead and book some cost on the project let's say i am booking some hours so for example i am going ahead and booking 400 hours and posting so after the cost transactions have been booked let's quickly go and calculate the project statement for this projects so it's showing me nothing because the cost has been booked to the balance sheet accounts because if i go to the project group tells me that the ledger posting for cost expense hours expense and item is to the balance sheet accounts if i go to the posted transactions total cost of 76000 has been booked on the project again going back to the project statement if i see so this cost is accumulated as my vip cost so it's posted to my balance sheet accounts next is let's say some time has passed one month has passed and i want to book the revenue recognize the revenue so we go and run the estimate so i am going to run the first estimate for the for the for the month so the method will be picked up from the cost template or in this case from the cost template and uh, completion method is automatic 
so let's run the estimate so the estimate is telling us that 40 percent based on the cost project is completed and hence of the contracted value of 3 lakhs 1 lakh 20 thousand can be accrued so we can go and post this so when the estimate is posted I will again go back to the project statement and do a recalculate so if you see the whips revenue has been booked on the project as part of my revenue recognition process on estimate posting next is let's say time has come when we have to when our milestone the first milestone is uh, complete and we have to raise an invoice to the customer so i am going to build the first milestone which is of 1 lakh so we raise the invoice proposal and post this invoice So after the invoice is posted, we again go back to the project statement and if we see system is telling us that 120 is our VIP calculated from the revenue recognition system and on account invoicing of 1 lakh has been done on the system, on the project. So this is how revenue recognition based on percentage completion works. Let's see how what happens when we end the project when the complete transactions are have happened on the project. So let's quickly punch the balance hours. So out of the budgeted thousand hours we are booking the remain, remaining 600 hours 400 and already been booked so the remaining 600 hours are getting booked on the project and let's also build the second milestone so this second milestone is of 2 lakh rupees so we'll go ahead and post it. After this is posted, if we go back to the estimate and run the another estimate for next month, it's telling me that 100% based on cost 100% of the project is done and we can now accrue the remaining 180 of the invoice amount so I'll go ahead and post it after this is posted if we go back and run the project statement it shows me that the 3 lakhs of sales value has been booked on the project and cost of 190 is also booked on the project but still it's showing me 3 lakhs of whip so I need to clear this whip because now the project is completed all my milestones have been built to the customer so the last step is we need to at the end of the project we need to again run the estimate and this time we need to run an elimination estimate so if I run this estimate what it does is it is going to reverse the posted whip let's go back to the project statement 
so all the whips the whip sales value has been cleared and if we go to the profit and loss statement we can see that accrued revenue actual 3 lakhs and cost 190 has been booked on the project so this is quickly in brief i have summarized how revenue recognition works on for a fixed price percentage completion method in finance and operations happy learning and thanks for viewing